Now, to get an in-depth look into the situation developing in northeastern Syria involving Turkey, the Kurds, U.S., and now Russia, we have in the studio the Turkish ambassador to South Korea, Ambassador Ersin. Uh, welcome to the program. Now, help us uh, understand the situation better. And of course, I'll be playing the devil's advocate against you, and you can be playing um, in favor of you. So explain to us the latest development involving this part of the region about the Putin-Erdogan agreement. Uh, well, thank you very much for inviting me uh, to this program. Uh, first, uh, first of all, I'd like to make it clear uh, that uh, this operation is not against Kurds. Kurds are used deliberately, uh, perhaps by the uh, world media, uh, but uh, Turkey is fighting against terrorism in the region. Another thing uh, we are observing with a huge disappointment, the uh, Western media circles uh, are conducting a campaign since the beginning of operation against Turkey and full of slanders, lies, and distorted facts. What is going on in the region? Uh, let me uh, briefly explain. Uh, nothing uh, started yesterday or one week before. Everything has started so many years ago. Uh, Turkey is fighting against PKK terrorism uh, since 1983. PKK is an internationally recognized terrorist organization by the United States, by European Union, I, and by many other states. Uh, in the uh, last eight, nine years, since the beginning of, uh, beginning of the uh, internal war in the region, in Syria, mm -hmm. uh, this group, the branch of this group, uh, so-called PYD, YPG, and with newly coined name, Syria Democratic Forces, whatever the name change happens, they are the same terrorist organization. Uh, the Syrian branch, the PKK-related organizations, YPG, PYD, uh, uh, Syrian Democratic Forces, started taking the northern pocket of Syria under control. Under the pretext of fighting Daesh, uh, unfortunately, uh, allies, United States, uh, equipped them with heavy weaponry. Uh, but their design was much uh, more than fighting Daesh, to create a, safe, uh, a terror corridor. Uh, it was their uh, main objective. They uh, conducted three, over 300 uh, attacks on Turkey from Syria, Syria. They attacked on the Syrian Kurds. They attacked on Syrian Arabs. And 500,000 people fled the region because of them. So we are not talking about the Kurds. We are talking about the terrorists uh, in the northern Syria. Uh, secondly, Turkey is not invading Syria, which is a totally, uh, you know, misleading uh, idea. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this perception is created by the Western media. Uh, Northern Syria as, is under the occupation of terrorists. Turkey is trying to cl cleanse this uh, region from the terrorists. Uh, so, uh, with the uh, full, you know, due to the uh, showing full respect to the territorial integrity of Syria. So, uh, first of all, uh, p uh, you know, uh, protecting our national security, protecting the territorial integrity of Syria, and we are hosting currently three and a half million mm -hmm. Syrian refugees. Uh, we are also uh, going to facilitate their voluntary and, uh, you know, safe return to their homes by creating a safe zone in the northern Syria. That is the truth. Right. So, um, but there, of course, like you said, this is an area that's uh, in your uh, argument that it's wrongly shaped by the Western media. However, there are those who argue that um, why is it now that Turkey has decided to uh, campaign or to launch this operation in this region. Why is it now? Number two, SDF, you talked about uh, this, uh, this militants that Turkey views as um, a terrorist group, SDF. Are these not the group that helped uh, the U.S. and the U.S.-led forces um, fight against ISIS, which is a terrorist group against the world? Number three, in your operation um, in this area, is it not true that more than 200 civilians were killed in this operation? 
That's what, uh, that are some factors that the, yeah. that the entire world are worried about. Is that not true? Well, not true, okay. first of all. The first thing is those information are not true. Why now? Uh, nothing has started uh, today or yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm telling you, Turkey is fighting against this terrorist group uh, with whatever their name change is since 1983. And uh, since uh, eight, nine years, there is uh, an, a serious... Uh, you know, clash uh, in Syria and power vacuum. Mm -hmm. The Daesh uh, tried to fill that power vacuum and uh, a serious die, uh, fight against Daesh under the international coalition uh, took place in the region, including Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, Turkey is the fiercest fighter against Daesh, together with the United States and the international forces. Um, but uh, since some time, uh, you know, uh, again, due to the power vacuum in the region, uh, the PKK-related group of uh, Syria Democratic Forces, with a new name, or YPG or PYD, uh, try to take control uh, most of the northern part of Syria uh, under the pretext of fighting Daesh. And the United States, although they recognize PKK as a, as a terrorist organization, although they confess it that uh, Syria Democratic Forces, YPD, v, uh, YPG, is the extension, Syrian branch of PKK, they use them. The Kurds are, uh, the Kurdish terrorists there are fighting against Turkey since 1983. I was in Syria at that time, mm -hmm. in the 90s. Uh, the Syrian government at that time, they used them against us. Then they were used by Russia. Then they were used by United States. So they are ready to be used by everyone. Uh, after the uh, uh, operation has started, they changed uh, their rank, and now they are talking with the Syrian regime, with the Assad regime. So, uh, unfortunately, this is a very strategic region. It's open to the influence of the major powers. There are very much strategic designs and games are continuing over the region. And uh, why now? Because uh, despite our repeated warnings, the United States uh, continued uh, to equip them with the heavy equipment, uh, you know, uh, to use them against Daesh. And Turkey is in the border. With, we have 911 kilometers border. Turkey is the country which will fight against Daesh. Anyway, they will. They continued on the, so far, and despite our repeated uh, uh, warnings, the United States did not take any measure, and uh, we were compelled to to take action uh, to clean. Uh, the, uh, our borders from the terrorists uh, which uh, occupied the Syrian territory. And civilian, did this uh, is completely fabricated. Turkish army is one of the two, three armies in the world. We are working uh, at the most uh, hi highly technological uh, you know, devices. Uh, there is no one single casualty. Those terrorists used uh, Armenian church, they used mosques, they, they use church to open fire to Turkey uh, just but, to cause um, civilian, civilian casualties. But uh, I can I assure you, lady, uh, there is no one single casualty. They killed the people and they said they accused Turkey. It's a slander. Right. Uh, well, I'm sure um, this can be argued by many different sides. But with all due respect, Ambassador, with all due respect, I have another question, which we need to make it very brief because we're over time. Now that um, Presidents Putin and Erdogan have signed another joint statement, there are also concerns that would this not give uh, a rise of power or power to Syrian president, um, perhaps another round of power to Bashar al-Assad of some sort, which is something that you know that is fearful for the Syrian people well who wants to change the territorial integrity and political unity of Syria if everyone respects the territorial integrity and political unity of Syria they should respect uh, the agreement reached today between my president and President Putin which was also uh, you know, approved by the Syrian regime it's their territory uh, whatever the regime's uh, reputation is, uh, this uh, everything will happen within the borders of Syria. I'm not talking about the regime. That uh, territory belongs to the Syrian people. And the uh, Sochi agreement reached uh, 
a few, a few hours uh, and which will be implemented today uh, as of uh, noon I think uh, and 150 hours uh, time period YPG terrorist elements uh, will be uh, wiped out of the safe zone of 30 kilometers mm -hmm. this agreement uh, has an, yet another proof the Turkish rightful cause uh, you know uh, for the uh, joint statement be reached with the United States. Uh, we want to create a safe zone to, for our security, for the territorial integrity of Syria, and to facilitate the uh, return, safe and uh, voluntary returns of the Syrian refugees in Turkey. I do not uh, see any point of strengthening the regime, no. This is Syria, this is Syrian territorial integrity, and Russia, and Turkey, and uh, United States, and all the parties, state parties, should respect that. Well, um, uh, thank you so much for your insights today and for your um, take from your government. And we as a South Korean people, um, we as blood brothers of Turkey, the South Korean people, uh, would like to um, you know, hope that there are no conflicts uh, free of conflicts in that zone and any kind of military conflict in the area um, for you and for you people and for the Syrian people and for all people in that area. Best of luck to you and thank you so much and, and I hope that we have another opportunity to have this discussion again. Thank you very much for giving uh, this opportunity to me. Have a thank, good day. Thank you.